Do you know that feeling when you work with AI tools like Cursor or Copilot and you feel like you're making a lot of progress on the one hand because you're getting a lot of code written, but then there's still so much extra work you have to do. There's bugs, there's weird hallucinations, there are outputs that change every time you generate, and you have to do all the integration yourself. And worst of all, your code base is inflating with duplicate code all the time and doing so faster than ever while your brain is still buffering. Um, if you think about it, you're creating tech debt at AI speed. This happens because most AI tools still think in local snippets rather than systems, like actual systems with actual context. They don't understand the big picture, like the architecture or even what a feature is. And they don't reuse what's already there. They just keep generating, like they're getting paid by the line. Now, let's see what happens when you stop relying on traditional code generation and start building with a system level mindset. This is exactly why we built Hope AI, an AI that actually understands architecture and reuses your existing code. Basically, you just type in the feature or system you want to build. For example, Hope first generates the architecture for you, including both backend and frontend components. Here, it created an architecture for the login page we asked for. You can read its explanation about the architecture and then go on to review the, the actual components it's suggesting to create. Here, we have two scopes or collections of components, design and accounts. As you can see, most components here are reused, which keeps our code base lean and maintainable and helps us avoid the sacred tradition of copy paste refactor. How does Hope know which components to reuse? It actually uses semantic search that goes beyond names and keywords. It understands the intent behind your request. Then it goes to the component search index and retrieves components that fit that functionality within your context. Not only that, but when Hope creates new components like login, it reuses existing components as dependencies and doesn't just generate them from scratch every time, like many other code assistants. You can also edit the prompt for this component to change its spec or its dependencies, or even attach files like designs you want to use. When you're happy with the architecture, just click Start Generating and Hope will generate all the components. Once Hope has generated all the components for your feature, it displays them on the right panel for you to review and make adjustments. If you want to make any changes, just prompt it in the chat or edit the code yourself. The Edit Code button opens the cloud workspace where you can access any file and edit it. One of the things that set Hope apart is that it doesn't stop at code generation. It actually proactively initiates integration. This means that the new components get embedded straight into the component graph that represents your entire code base and they are readily runnable and reusable. Oh yeah, and they include tests and documentation as well. All this means that as your system grows, it becomes more manageable, more consistent, and more maintainable. So if you want your architecture clean and your code base maintainable over time, try Hope AI for free at bit.cloud.